Hello, hello! Welcome back to Triangle Strategy. My name is Decapitated. That's not the name my mother gave me, but who boy, it's the one I'm going with. And we're back. We're on the map screen. There's a bunch of story we have to go through. Unfortunately, until the next map, there's it's gonna be a little bit. This episode might be entirely story, uh, if the demo is anything to go off of. And it is, because it was literally the full game. Uh, just the first three chapters, not the full game, that would be weird. Uh, anyway, a uh, side story. At Whitehom Castle, home of Glenbrook's royal family, preparations begin for a grand ceremony to commemorate a new age of harmony between the three nations. So Glenbrook is the capital of Glenbrook. As, as... Whitehom, I guess, okay, whatever. Crown City is the name of the Wherever city. Wherever did my fool brother run off to? I explicitly told him I wanted him here when we welcome our guests. Uh, Franny Gren Brenbrook, yeah, good, good, good! The crown prince and eldest son of Regna, he studies the art of kingship at his father's side and manages the royalists. He often finds himself at odds with his younger brother, Roland, due to their differing personalities. Uh-oh, we got some fighting going on! <laughs> Which is a cute little sibling rivalry. Prince Roland shrugged off the king's guard and went on a little excursion, as he's wont to do. Uh, Patriot Consar, minister of Glenbrook, a nobleman whose name has long been known throughout Glenbrook. He leads the Royalists, a faction that supports the royal family and dutifully tends to the king's political matters and its minister. Okay, he's prime minister. I swear, it's as if the boy exists to Without, drive us like, mad. Without, being elected, I guess. He is an embarrassment to our family. True. I've heard that before. Wait, that's not a good thing. No matter. I will see to matters myself. Who's this goober? I don't remember. Your honored guests have arrived, your highness. He's definitely not evil. Look at that. Look at that smirk. That's wholesome. That is a wholesome character right there. You know he's never going to do anything bad. He's going to give to orphans and not going to betray the king. Klaus Brocker, a merchant who travels among the realms, among the realms, nations, as a member of the Norzelia Consortium, an independent and neutral organization that manages the trade of iron and salt. Yeah, definitely not corrupt at all. Couldn't be me! I see new faces among them. Stop I saying them. I trust you can tell me more, Clarice. Cladus. But of course, your highness. This this voice acting so far sounds like they didn't maybe know... The imposing looking woman over there is General Avlora of like, Esfrost. They only got one Her take? prowess in battle is such Sometimes. that some say she is the second coming of Groma Ironfist. Hero of the Salt Iron Roma War. Iron Fist. If the rumors of Roma the strength are true, she is more likely to emerge victorious than any but the Dawn Spear himself. Over the there Al is Minister Exham Marshall of the Exam. Holy State of Hyzant. Exham. He is the newest appointee to the Saintly Exam. Seven and has been placed in charge of the military and diplomatic affairs. Tis a rise to prominence nigh unheard of for one so young. A general of the Grand Duchy and Hyzant's young hope. I imagine this will not be the last I hear of them. Hyzant's young hope. What does he mean by that? I know this man. Source the end of Hyzant, yes. Again, this Just guy's so, probably wholesome too. Look at his spray. You doubtless Look know, at his he cone is head. Holy State's Minister of Salt. A prestigious position, though it is said he feels threatened by Minister Exham of late. Never so seen, even I, the great monolith that is the Holy State the is not immune to internal strife. My, hold on, is my mic shitty right now? A little bit, Thank let me turn you, up Clarice. a little bit. So I you can, can hear see my they were not voice. wrong to tap you to lead the consortium. Yeah, tap them. As the officially appointed bookmaker for the tournament, it would not do for me to be ignorant of the combatants. Yeah, the bookmaker. Oh, I get it. Your Highness, Lord Thallus and Lady Erica, brother and sister of the Archduke, have arrived. They will be joining the festivities in Archduke Gustadolf's stead. Oh good, I'm sure Lord these two characters are very Lord good. Thallus has been appointed Prime Minister, which would make him the second most influential individual in all of Esfrost. 
Archduke Gustadolf is said to prize freedom more than anything. Freedom. It would seem that yeah. includes the freedom to put his own family above all. Oh, oh, oh. With all due respect, your highness, the decisions of another nation are their own. Do take care not to say anything that might offend our new allies. <laughs> you need not remind me, Patriot. I know there is little to be Never gained mind. from quarreling with Esfrost's ruling family. Is that Edelgard on the left there? Yeah, it's, a, it's a Fire Emblem repertoire. Honor Why do they all walk like that, by the way? I am Franny, Crown Prince of Glenbrook. It is an honor to welcome you to our kingdom in my father's stead. I can assure you we have spared no effort in preparing for tomorrow's festivities. Let us ring in this new age of alliance together. <laughs> Though I imagine some may be too occupied awing us with their prowess in the tourney to enjoy the revelry themselves. Is that a slight against someone? Or is, that, is he making a joke or what? That, Allow that me to escort you to right White Home Castle, where the ceremony will take place. Whenever you're ready. Okay, that, that, so that, that's pretty much just like info on all the... Um, on all the like characters you'll probably kill at some point. Prince Roland, finally you return. He was hiding behind the tree. I think I think she literally just spawned in. At ease, you went. I trust all was well in my absence. Well enough. Another visit to the Woolfort domain, was it? Hewett Buckler, a relatively new member of the Kingsguard and trusted with Roland's protection, she dreamed of serving the crown from a young age and was appointed a position in the Kingsguard after years of hard work. She has big fur coat. Indeed, what is, what is on this minor little business. My apologies for leaving unannounced. Apologies indeed. You know full well that I am under strict orders from your father to accompany you on any excursions outside the castle. So what is it, th that headband? Like, just doesn't look like it would do anything. It looks too small to keep up her hair. You know, uh, it doesn't matter. Maybe it's just a thing that the I'm perfectly capable the, of taking the King's care of myself. Besides, he did run no two bandits around the entire time, to me. and he gets he could, did get suit his entire horse suplex and survived. So you know, even Cordelia would get along perfectly fine without her brother. Big brother. Well, I would not. Or have you forgotten that you are my one and only sworn liege? Huet. Oh, Huet. Forgive me, truly. It won't happen again. I should hope not. So it is true that you plan to fight an attorney on the morrow. And alongside House Wolfort, no less. Who said that? How did you... His Grace told me. When he commanded me to keep you out of trouble... Uh oh. So father knew all along. And so I have decided to fight at your side. He you won't be slipping away on my watch this time. Well, uh, I mean, another, another meat shield will be uh, definitely a good thing because I'm gonna fork and read it. Castle Wolf Hort. Wolf Fort. Uh, is there anything else? I don't think so, but you kind of got. I you kind of got to like just look around the map. Luckily, this map isn't too big, so. But there's not a button to just skip to the whatever it, whatever you want. So, having routed the bandits, Saranoa and his retinue make their way back to Castle Wolf Fort. Wolf Fort. Welcome back, the both of you. Taciturn woman. Were there any troubles while we were out? None to speak of, aside from Eridor here. But what else is new? Where's Eridor here? Out with it, Benedict! Oh, there it is. I heard you were beset by brigands. Is the young lord safe? No, they're just genders. We're fine. 
Lower your voice. Must you always shout so? Or can't you see that it was that big mouth of yours that invited trouble in the first place? Yeah, There's again, no these deliveries are a little strange. Door. Besides, I'm not a child anymore. He keeps switching accents. They have not, I don't mind. understand. But I've known you since you were knee-high to a... Uh, never you mind. <sighs> and this must be the young lord's bride-to-be. I am Frederica. It is a pleasure and honor to meet you all. And I am Gila, her attendant. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Allow me to introduce those in service of House Wolfort. This is Arador, Master at Arms and Commander of our military forces. Okay. You'll be the Lady of House Wolfort. No harm will befall you as long as I'm around. Oh, um, what's the button again? That button, okay. Uh, an experienced soldier and commander of Wolfort's forces. He has served Simon, <laughs> Simone alongside Benedict since the Salt Iron War and continues to do whatever he can as a loyal retainer to House Wolfort. And this is Anna, my right hand. If you require anything, Never just mind. say the word. Not making right hand jokes is not funny. Uh, Anna Pascal, House Wolfort spy. An expert spy and Benedict's right hand. She was taken in by Wolford after losing her parents and swears to do everything in her power to repay that debt. They may not be of my blood, but they are my family just the same. And from this day on, they're your family as well. I am aware that in all of Glenbrook, House Wolford is second only to the royal family in power and influence. Wow, thank I you will for that do my lord drop. Not to disappoint you. Thank you, Frederica. A joyous day this is. The little lord grew up and found himself the perfect bride. Found now it himself, brings a huh? tear to my eye. His voice certainly does carry. Sorry, my lady, but you'll have to get used to it. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I get it. <laughs> it's My it's lord, a joke. Your father Did awaits someone explain you in his chambers. As for me, I must stay and discuss the preparations for tomorrow's festivities with Anna and Erador. Tomorrow's festivities. Lady Frederica, pray come with me. Father is expecting us. I hope there are like, I don't know. I don't know how many maps there are in this game or like battles. Uh, Anna can tr okay, and so Anna can take two actions in the same turn, which is really really good. Uh, she and she's actually not doesn't do terrible damage, which is really good. And then she can uh, make herself basically invisible, so enemies can't attack her unless they unless they happen to just stand next to her, which is really good. In the in the first demo that came out, she was really good, and then um. And in this demo, she doesn't... In this, in the first part, I don't think she has the ability to conceal herself immediately. I don't think so. Although I might be wrong on that. Uh, Eritude and Eridor Arit does get the ability to uh, aggro enemies. So if, if the enemies are like two spaces away from him, he can uh, proc an ability that just uh, makes them attack him. And he obviously has the highest defense. And eventually he gets an ability that counterattacks. I know he did not have the counterattack ability um, when I was playing the demo earlier, so we're, we're gonna have to wait for that. As you are well aware, there are two events of utmost importance to be conducted before Lord Serenoa and his bride are wed. True. The ceremony to commemorate I the joint mining venture. Still can't believe okay. I'll Thank be seeing the day <laughs> when we break ground on a new mine right here in Glenbrook. And with the full support of Esfrost and Hyzant, no less. You can thank King Regnant for that. It was by his most wise and generous proposal that the three nations of Norzelia now strive toward a common goal. 
Needless to say, delegates from each nation will you, be joining I, in the festivities. So far, even if you say, like, the wrong answer? From the Grand Duchy of Esfrost, Lord Dragan Esfrost, who is overseeing the technical side of the mining operations. Like the, like the least diplomatic the one? The Holy State of Hyzant will be represented um. by Minister Lila Viscraft of the Saintly Seven. Everyone will like and still own Lord Seymour like say, "Oh, that was an interesting study. answer." I and didn't meet with the two before Ooh. the ceremony. Yes. Stuff like that's weird. But you know, so, maybe it just phrased that, weirdly in English. It will be House Lord's responsibility to see that our honored guests feel welcome. Anna, I would trust you safeguarding both Lord Dragan and Minister Lila. Dragan, these nuts. <laughs> Sorry. Then once that stuff that actually kind of works. is over, we can get to the real highlight of the day. The tourney! Ah, my blood's already rushing. You Just didn't get there within a the day? greatest warriors from all the realm, clashing oh, swords. Well, I guess the highlight of today, the meeting from that they're Esfrost, having. From Esfrost, the much-renowned General of Laura. And from Hyzant, Minister Exham Marshall. I have heard much of his prowess as well. Then, of course, there's our reigning victor. The pride of Glenbrook, Sir Maxwell the Dawnspear. Dawnspear. I wish him all the best of luck. Dawnspear. No need it to beat House Wolfort. On that matter, there are two things I should make clear. Prince Roland has expressed a desire to join the tourney as a member of House Wolfort's contingent. Oh. Why would the boy want to fight with us and not his own arms master? Apparently, he originally formally requested to do just that, but King Regna would not allow it. He's a little bitch. And so he came to the young lord in hopes of finding another way in. Well, it's more than welcome in my book. The royal family said we're free to put together our own contingent after all. I reckon his majesty would be beside himself with joy if we could deliver a beaten to Esfrost and Isand. Doubtless so. Very well. I shall inform the prince that he is welcome in our ranks. Finally, I mean, he has a is horse, the matter so. of Lord Simon's health? If Fire Emblem has anything Indeed. Sadly, to do with this game, the Lord of the that, House that is in no condition hard. to participate in the tourney. Barring some miracle, oh, I anticipate that, that Lord Saranoa uh, will have to fight in his Lord Father's she stead. Gl glasses, little sparkle right there. Lord Seymour. I suppose age takes its toll on even the mightiest of men. How old are you? Dot, dot, dot. So be it then. You can leave watching over the young Lord mm. and Prince Roland to me. Good. I remind you that... While this is a joyous occasion, all of our attendees have their own reasons for coming. Let us not give them an opportunity to catch us so unaware. That's a lot of words and not a lot of fighting. There we go. Maybe. Well, you bet your ass I'm gonna make a save because holy shit, I don't wanna have to watch us stuff again. <laughs> Oh, I didn't ever check if there was a sub story. I keep forgetting about that because I want to kind of move on, but. Father, we have Father, teleported in. I bring to you my betrothed, the Lady Frederica. A pleasure to meet you, my lord. Holy I'm shit, Frederica this bitch of House is hot. What if you just, like, this is oh, oh, the pleasure is all mine. Oops, I'm sorry, I'll Were read it. Were it not for the efforts for of time. House Wolfort, the Salt Iron War would rage on still today. I do not deserve the honor of joining your esteemed family, but I will endeavor to serve you all the same. True. Better. <laughs> there is no need for such formalities, my girl. Uh, Simon Wolfort, a legendary warrior whose valor brought an end to the Salt Iron War, head of one of the three high houses of Glenbrook. He is an exemplary lord who has the love of his people and the king's trust. <laughs> you are tired from your journey, I am sure. Pray rest easy tonight. Thank you, my lord. 
I believe that in any journey, the first step is the most important. That's what I said. Before we go forward together, I should like to know why you chose to welcome one of Roselle in blood, such as I. Oh ho! I'd heard you were a strong-willed one. Oh ho! Pray forgive my insolence. Uh, and yet, I am set to marry into a mighty house of a foreign nation. I should like to know what you wish of me, that I might live up to your expectations. You are meant to stand there and look request. pretty. Both of you, listen well. Yes, father. Yes, father. I am very Irish now. Welsh or something. Your marriage know. was agreed upon by Glenbrook and S. Frost, that the ties between our two nations might be strengthened. To give us more leverage against Tyzant with their monopoly over salt. Precisely. With Glenbrook and S. Frost consolidating their power, Tyzant was left with little choice but to join the Alliance. And yet, while Lady Frederica is indeed the Archduke's sister, at the same time she is the daughter of a Rosellan concubine. Oh. And House Walford, for all our military prowess, is no more than a bannerman of the King. If the aim was to forge the strongest bond we could between our two nations, it would be far more appropriate for my sister, Lady Erica, to wed the Crown Prince of Glenbrook. Just so, yet neither nation chose that. And do you know why? Being used. So that if relations between our two countries were to take a turn for the worse... We could be cast away like pawns. Precisely. Such are the schemes of those who rule nations. I understand I'm vibrating now. now. And yet, no matter how impure the intentions behind this arrangement may be, I will not bring dishonor to the Wolfort name. Well said, my son. If that is your decision, then... Father! Lord Simon! His name is just Simon. I am an old man, and my health is not what it once was. For this reason and more, I have made my decision. As of this day, I abdicate my position as Lord of House Wolford. <laughs> Is this all the same day as you will um, serve in my stead from tomorrow the forth? Brigand attack, by the way. But father, I'm not I don't ready know to this, the scale of the world. So, why does it do that every my time? My decision is not made lightly. You have already shown me, with your words and your deeds, that you are more than ready. Think always about what your subjects need from you. <laughs> Weigh Excuse your me. choices carefully, then take action. Do so, and I have no doubt you will make a great lord. And trust in Benedict. He shall serve you as well as he did me. Benedict Cumberbatch? Is that, is that a good reference? Can I make that one? No? Oh. Thank you, Father. I will spare no effort that one day I may be as beloved he by our people as you... It. Except sometimes it's weird. Lady Frederica, your fate is not a simple one. There are many who would try to use the both of you as pawns. There'll be no one scheme. else in the next set here, so I don't know why he would have Even so, I hope that you will be there to support my son through it all as his wife, but also as your own person. But also as his number one bad This bitch. is House Wolfort's entreaty and the wish of a father. Of course, my lord. It was my intention from the moment I boarded the ship.
beg pardon, my lord, but Lord Dragan and Minister Lila have arrived. Yeah, this I guess this is all happening on Very Saturday. Well. I don't know. Presiding over tonight's guess, yeah, banquet we'll to will be my final duty as Lord of the House. Tomorrow's ceremony will mark the beginning of yours, my son. Finally, now I can smoke weed all and day. And after that will be your wedding. Rest well tonight, both of you, for busy days lie ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Yeah, I get that joke. They're finally, chapter one completed after an hour and ten minutes. More than that, because I had to restart a map, but it didn't take that long. So there's a fast forward button that's pretty fast. Uh, yeah, please. You can save all of all, all your slots if you want. You want to save all so save all. This is probably not going to be a hundred percent playthrough like it's like Patrick's server, by the way. I'm not going to do all the rats. A vein of precious minerals was unearthed in the kingdom of Glenbrook. From east to west, joy swept the land. Yay! United at last in common cause, the kingdom of Glenbrook, the Grand Duchy of Esfrost, and the Holy State of Hyzant endeavored to wrest this bounty from the earth. With each nation providing expertise and resources. Okay, so the Iron Bane is this in This uneasy Glenbrook. alliance between once bitter enemies will herald a new era of tranquility in this long embattled realm. True. But we finally got to get there now. One after the another, no. dignitaries from each nation arrive in Glenbrook. To solidify this accord and toast to its success, the first step on the road to peace. Among those who would forge this road is Sarah Noah Wolfford. Inheriting the title of Lord Wolfford from his father Simon, he must decide what foundation he would lay for this new era. Oh, Simon of Game Mechanic. Ch chapter 2 To Arms Brave Warriors. The armies descend. No, that they're green. They're fine. They're, they're green triangles. Triangles approach Welcome to Castle Back Wolf. To the Pentagons. Minister Lila. Allow me to express my gratitude to the Holy State. Were it not for your nation's generous efforts, this venture would never have come to fruition. You are too kind, Lord Simon. You too have served an invaluable role in this. Uh, Saintly Seven Minister of Medicine, Lila Viscraft. One of the Saintly Seven. She is a woman of superior intellect who was appointed to overseer of the Ministry of Medicine. To be fair, you have to have a high, very high IRQ to understand salt. Though I must admit, the news of the union between medicine, your son but... and Lady Frederica came as quite the surprise. None in Hyzant considered that a bannerman of Glenbrook would join with the ruling family of Esfrost. I hear that Lady Frederica is the Archduke's half-sister. I must ask, how did this arrangement come to be? Your curiosity is only natural. This union was promised during the war, an arrangement made with the previous Archduke. Huh? Truth be told, I am surprised one as well informed as yourself did not already know. I was actually just testing you. I already and knew that. And this is your son? As I recall, Sarah Noah Wolford, at your service, Minister. And Don't interrupt I am me, bitch. Frederica Esfrost. My son still has much to learn, but I believe this marriage will herald a bright future for us all. For today, I intend to step down and leave House Wolford in Sarah Noah's capable hands. You're abdicating your position? Surprising news comes in pairs, I see. Nonetheless, I am happy for you both. You think she's evil? She might be. She might be evil but recruitable I at the same time. Lords and ladies at tonight's because she's hot. Will take great interest in the new Lord Wolfort, as will I. <laughs> Go easy on. Well, she's like a boss. I don't know. 
I hear that Maybe. young Lord Dragan of Esfrost shall also be in attendance. She do be having a night. Indeed. So. He has been appointed to oversee operations at the Grand Orzalian Mines. I understand his star in Esfrost has seen a meteoric rise. Good. I would like to hear more of this new explosive substance he means to use to blast the tunnels. It's fucking wild. As a fellow scholar of sorts, if in a different field, I am always curious to learn how great discoveries are made. This music is kind of weird by now. for this Has scene. Anyone seen him? Dragan's gone to see the city. He was halfway there before the gangplank landed on the docks. Are they uh, on the same boat, I guess? He is your cousin, yes. I see we share an innate curiosity for new places. The no, banquet will make, begin that soon. Sense. How did she know I that? I shall Never. seek him out and escort him there. Very oh, good. the... Though He's in the city around Wolf. I want you okay. to act as if you're already Lord of the House. Our guests are the most esteemed personages of their respective nations. Take care not to cause offense. Take care not to be of too course, racist, Father. but a little bit racist. You know how politicians are. <laughs> Lord Dragan could be anywhere. I suppose this is a good as as good an opportunity as any to seek with the common folk. Uh, and so there's an exploration phase. Basically, you go around and talk to everybody. You can get like you can get some items, and you can get uh, some information that will help you do uh, make choices throughout the game. It's basically a VN at VN <laughs> at this point. I've been tasked with attending you at the ceremony tomorrow, my lord. May it be a joyous occasion at the hall. I'm eager to hear your speech, and even more eager to see you triumph at the tourney. I sense you may have some questions regarding this joint mining adventure. Allow me to enlighten- I'm not doing that voice. Combining the expertise of the manpower of Norzelia's three nations, this mine will unearth the newly discovered vein of iron. We hope this will be prove beneficial for our parties, providing wealth and prosperity with equal measure. If you want to see stupid voices from me, you might want to just watch Tactics Ogre. <laughs> it is said Lord Stragan's knowledge of ironworking is peerless. I could think of none more suited to oversee the mine's development. No! Okay, <laughs> I thought I thought I accidentally restarted the uh, thing. Hey, my, we definitely need those. Um, I had to use only one last map, which was good. I think that was better than the first time I tried uh, that map. But um, last time, um, I, during the second map, holy shit, we might have to do a lot. I might actually have to go buy some from the shop. We'll see. A hair prince Rowland is shirking his duties to the castle once again. Thank heavens that shiftless child is in line for the crown. True. Like, so if I can, can I look at my uh, inventory? Yes. I got four. That's probably not enough. I probably am going to have to go buy some, but we won't do that right now. I don't think I have to. I can do that right, right before the battle. Uh... Okay, here we go. To see the peace we enjoy now, what would they... Never think that but 30 years ago our realm was engulfed in war. The Sultan War seems not but a far off nightmare now. Thank you, old lady. Hey, who's it's my rock? My friends and I are playing hide and seek. Added marbles of Norzalia volume 8 to notes. You will find notes and they'll tell you stuff. That's what that says. I promise. Oh, there's a there's a war report. I didn't. Is that is that what I think it is? It's not a war report. Yes. Okay. Maybe it's just, it's like a less detailed war report. Cool. Uh, up the Norzelian River. If you don't know war report and tactics, so it's basically a thing that allows you to see like every choice you've ever made. And every every you get you get to view every cutscene again. Uh, which in this game you probably wouldn't want to. <laughs> I don't know. The cutscenes are kind of long so far. Uh, most due to the voice acting a lot, but you know. Up the Norzelia River and past a handful of craggy mountains lies the Ace Frost capital. Despite the blizzard stops swirling, swirling about it. Oh, you didn't think we we're gonna read lore, did ya? We're gonna read some frickin' lore. The city itself is orderly and well maintained, and the people who dwell in these spirited are they are, are spirited and undaunted. By working together, they have managed to thrive in one of the most inhospitable places in the realm, because they're stupid for some reason. I don't know why they would do that. It is the fortitude that has allowed Aethros to grow into a nation to be reckoned with. 
Esfrost Ironstone was carved out of a rocky mountainside, which is unusual but fitting for a land with a countless iron mines within its borders. It functions as both a castle and an iron factory. Skilled artisans of the Grand Duchy are brought to the castle, where they mass-produce ironworks and engage the technolo in technological research. Thanks to an enormous forge as large as and as hot as the mouth of a vo volcano within the castle, because it's literally a volcano, they are able to create huge quantities of ironware and weapons on a daily basis for Isfrost's pride and joy, the Black Irons. Upon the castle's ramparts is arguably the crowning achievement of Ace Frosty Ironworking, a gigantic bell, larger than the largest dragon. Okay, apparently dragons exist in this universe. That's cool. Uh, I cannot even begin to fathom how they managed to create such a beast. Each day, the bell tools the time for the people of the capital. It is so loud, it can be heard all throughout the mountains, and has even known to, been known to trickle avalanches on distant slopes. Some lore time. Hell yeah. Hey, Anna, what's up? By your request, Benedict and I shall take part in the tourney. May we bring victory to House Wolfert. Wolfert. Oh, it's Wolfert. Cat. Cat moment. Cat moment. Up. Oh, it's cat moment. You can interact with the cat. Sorry, I had a cat moment there. Ba, ba, da, ba, 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 ba. We're going to need plenty of those. Uh, there's been nothing to miss, my lord. Another quiet day. We're playing hide and seek till Dad comes home. I need to find a place to hide and quick. Uh, take care not to hurt yourself, idiot. Your father would never want anything bad to happen to you. No, just kidding. You're a little shit. You'd love it. Uh, one of my favorite games. Barrel's World was my favorite place to hide. Okay. It takes a clever mind to hide. Perhaps you can use that cleverness to help your father when you're older. Shut up. Uh, barrel. Go, go hide in a barrel, idiot. I don't know what the heck this choice is. Barrel. Barrels. I never would have thought of that, my lord. He will never find me now. Never again. I speak from experience. They won't. However, there may be even better hiding places to be found around town. You wait, my lord. I'll be fine to hide in place no, no one's ever even thought of before. And no one will ever find me again and I'll rot as a skeleton. Finally! My husband works from dawn to dust at the port, lifting crates and who knows what else. It's all a swack, though, and the backbone of our livelihood's massage. Hey, it's just like him to gallop in up with Neri off of word of farewell. But still, I suppose this is a chance to become acquainted with my future home. How would you describe your town, Sarah Noah? To know a town, you must take time to relish your company. That's what Eridor told me, and perhaps more colorful words. It is the port at the center of commerce, a town built on taxes, but not at the expense of fair trade. Wolfort is, nestly safely is nestled safely behind castle walls. It is a town at peace, and sets an example for the rest of the kingdom. Uh, who cares? Let's go with Eridor, what Eridor said. I haven't known Eridor for long, but those words were undeniably his. Perhaps I ought to take a page out of his book, and as I've done resentment, regrettably little relishing since I've arrived. You needn't push yourself, Frederica. Time, time, <laughs> no, don't even try that. Time is something we do not lack. Once matters have settled, I will give you a tour of Wolfort myself. Thank you, Sir Noah. I will look very much look forward to that. You have given me much to consider. Hello. There's no rest it for a young lordling. All eyes will be on you in the coming days. Gregory and I shall make every effort to learn the lay of the land so that we might share the weight of your duties. Okay. Yo, another bean? I don't know, these are like beans or whatever they are. $300? Hell yeah, I'll take that for my subjects. Mine. Salt monker. The most extreme personages of each nation will be attending the ceremony, I hear. A very fundamentally part of politics. Such an opportunity to make and speak with your peers must not be wasted, my lord. Yeah, I'm gonna go in this house. It's my house. I'm the lord. My beloved. And then we got inventory... I... I still can't believe Travis and his feral spawn attacked your dear bride to be like that. I'm just as glad we got there before any real harm could be done, my lord. Well, I don't, I don't know why you had that voice. A lot of folk have been coming to town for the ceremony. I even saw a man earlier wandering about, about in a wide-eyed wonder. He's literally right next to me. 
Wow. I can scarce remember the last time Glenbrook was host to such a marvelous tourney. Who among the nations will win glory? It's li it was literally last year, I think. Um, but whatever. Which will be known as the fiercest in all Norselia. Meanwhile, I mean, there to be there when history is made. Hmm. This town is, is prosperous, and its people have faith in their lord. An impressive achievement by my, my experience. You are too kind, Lord for Dragon. Dragon D's nuts. Ah, my apologies, but you are. Uh, Overseer of the Grand Norselian Mines, Dragan Aesfrost. After his father, Sparag, was all but relegated to a life on the Aeris Frosty Outlands, he dedicated himself to his studies at the Archives in hopes of restoring his family's honor. He is a young genius who has discovered how to make explosives. The apologies should be mine. I'm Sarah Noah Wolfort. I've come to remind you to return the castle before the banquet begins. Certain parties were quite insistent. Of course, I appreciate the consideration, but I would like to explore the town a little while longer. But rest assured, I should be punctual in my arrival. Hmm. Ah! I must make ready for the whirling ceremony. What gift would best shoot the union of you and Lady Frederica? Hmm. It is an impossible choice. Perhaps an audience with Lord Seaman will spark inspiration. Ho 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 ho! I ever go in this house? Yes. Okay, that's it. Luckily, that exp that one isn't too long. Uh, please go up the stairs. Did I ever go up here? I think I did. I'm already forgetting. Yeah. Yes. I talked to you. Okay. I think that's it. If I missed a house, then oh well. It's my L to take, and I will take it gladly. Now I have seven. That might be enough. I'm not 100% sure if that's going to be enough for the next battle. Um, they might have also turned down the difficulty. Can I go back? Yeah, just this button. Make it will begin soon. Lord Dragan and I had best not arrive late. And you could also get more points towards going towards different routes and getting new other characters, just if you know what character you're going to go with. At the banquet. I thank you for your hospitality today, Lord Saranoa. Think nothing of it. Oh, if you think there's going to be less cutscenes, who boy? You're Quite. wrong. Its people are full of life and love for their lord. That says all I need to know about House Wolfort. You honor us with your words. I am only being frank. Posturing. Frederica is the sister of the Archduke, after all, and my cousin besides. I would not see her marry into an unworthy house. Suffice to say, my expectations were exceeded. So I have heard broke. much of your ingenious contributions to the mining efforts. I sense prosperous days are ahead of us. As do I. Finally, our nations enter into an age unfettered by war. Unfettered With by war. With Esfrost's iron, Hyzant's salt, and Glenbrook's mediation, there is no limit to what we can achieve. We That's must regard each other as equals and forge mutually beneficial relationships. I'm going to say the exact opposite. I sense skepticism I say, in your words, Lord Dragan. Uh -oh. Drama. Do you mean to imply our relations are not already mutually beneficial? <gasps> uh oh. I need not imply anything. The salt tax you claim makes my case more than clear. True. Take that. Bold words from one so young. Is that how peers speak to one another? Perhaps the young ones, yes. What do you think, Lord Saranoa? What do you think, idiot? Dissatisfaction with the salt tax was one cause of the war, was it not? Salt is a divine boon, a gift from the goddess to her true believers. This Again, is I the think... foundation of the teachings that guide us in high. It's like it's probably like doom By spices rather than just like regular do salt. Do you mean to gainsay but, our most fundamental know. beliefs? Of course not, minister. We understand that the source is Norzelia's sole supply of salt. They not, would next not to the deny ocean? that it is the holy state's right to harvest and know, tax it as you see fit. Honest. Thank you for acknowledging that. Though it strikes me that your words are measured. You needn't be so non-committal, Lord Saranoa. It is only reasonable that the three of us have differing opinions on the matter. However, that you is all the more reason bitch, for us to be open to frank discussion. Hmm. Hmm. Honored guests, <laughs> pray forgive my son. We He's of House Wolfwood are but simple warriors. 
I'm afraid matters of finance and politics do not come to us naturally. This, however, I can say. We will fight injustice and tyranny wheresoever it may be. Of course, Brilliant. we do not enjoy conflict. Still, we will not hesitate to defend our land and our people should the need arise. No matter how mighty the threat, we will fight for home and kingdom. That's what I said. Yes, Lord Simone. Of that we are keenly aware. I apologize if I spoke out of turn. But the fact remains that as every winter passes, the tension between our nations grows, and salt is the cause. The common folk have all yeah, but forgotten salt. its taste. Big salt conspiracy. I simply want to ease their suffering. The ministry I oversee is committed to the preservation of life. I personally believe that salt should not be a luxury reserved for the privileged few. All those who live require it. Not just those lucky enough to be born within the borders of our holy state. You agree with me then? How I feel matters little. In Hyzant, the word of the goddess shouldn't As Hierophant be... to us from the lips of the Hierophant is absolute. Shouldn't Hierophant be capitalized? But probably? perhaps hey, this joint mining know. venture of yours may lead to the change the you seek. Indeed. Okay, we then must set maybe... our gazes to the future. Recruitable? All of us. I expect you that? will be know. the ones to usher us into a new era. Yes. Yes, father. Yes, father. It looks like he's a big nose right there, uh, Simon. Big nose!